The day after the rape, I received a delivery of flowers. They were from Morgan. Objection. Nothing that occurred subsequent to the alleged crime can be relevant to these proceedings. I assure you, Your Honor, it's relevant to the charges of harassment. Ms. Kramer, you may proceed, but carefully. Lorna, how did you know that the flowers were from Morgan Winthrop? Well, there was a card. Um, he didn't sign that name, but is this the card? Yes. I'd like to enter this and have it marked as state's evidence. Well, if I raped her, I wouldn't send her flowers, please. Lorna, would you read this card to the court? Maybe things weren't exactly the way we would have liked them to be last night, but then neither of us was in top form. I hope you'll give me another chance to do it better. Archie, that's the name that he, he used. Thank you. Lorna, how did this make you feel? Objection. Overruled. I, I was furious. I was cruel and sick. I threw the flowers away. When was the next time you saw Morgan Winthrop? Do you mean after the Halloween party when he was arrested? Yes. I saw him in the detective's office when I had a meeting with Detective Wager. And after that? In my apartment. Did you ask him to come in? No. I was heading out and he walked in. What did invited. You, what did you do? What do you think? I told him to get out. I was petrified being in being alone with him in, in the place where I was raped. Objection. Sustained. The jury will disregard Miss Devon's last remark. Did he leave after you asked him to go? No. He refused. Did he give you a reason? He said he wanted to talk to Objection. me. Objection. Overruled. You didn't want to talk? No. I, I was a second away from calling the police. Yes. Did he harm me? trying you? to reason with her. Are you going to sit there and let her lie? Be quiet. I have no, to hear what she's saying in order to respond. You and my mother walked in at that point and he left. Were you afraid that he would come back? Yes. Which is why I took my mother's advice and I got a court order of protection against him. Did Morgan Winthrop abide by these restraining orders? No. In fact, just yesterday when I went down to the parking garage, he followed me down there and frightened me half out of my mind. You bitch. I didn't follow you anywhere. Honor, 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 please. please. Dr. Winthrop. Bossing my ass. I never followed you. It was my dumb luck, just like running into you in that bar. Morgan, who's the dangerous one? Stop. 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 Patience with this behavior. On both sides. Our apologies as well, Your Honor. The members of the jury will disregard anything Dr. Winthrop said in his outburst. Only the sworn testimony of witnesses can be considered in reaching a verdict. You may continue, Ms. Kramer. Lorna, after the incident at your apartment, you felt you were in danger? Yes. Did you do something about it? Yes. I... I bought a gun. It is registered and I have a permit. Did you have an occasion to use it? Yes. I am not proud of this, but yesterday in the parking garage. How? To keep Morgan Winthrop away from me. And we were alone down there and I was very afraid that he would try to hurt me again, so I got the revolver out of the glove compartment of my car and I threatened him with it. Did he leave you alone then? Eventually. Although I thought that I might just have to fire. That if I did, I might be able to protect another woman from being hurt the way I was. She's but crazy. She's sick. She's... Don't you say another no. word. You're killing us. Morgan grabbed the gun away from me and he threw it down a sewer drain. And to be honest, now that I look back, I see that that was the correct thing to do and that things should just be settled here in court. Thank you, Ms. Devon. No further questions. Recross. Mr. Winthrop, you may question the witness after the court takes a brief recess. Ms. Devon, you may step down. This court will reconvene in 15 minutes. Oh, 
Why didn't you tell me what you wanted to tell me? I heard a noise in the garage, turned and saw Morgan. How do you know he was following you? He wasn't going anywhere else. Because you stopped him with your gun. As soon as I turned and faced him, he started So in. you assumed that he was following you, but you had no proof. Where was he going? Thank you. No further questions. I reserve the right to recall this witness. Miss Craven, the people have no further witnesses, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. You may step down, Miss Devon. Thank Mr. you, Your Honor. Mr. Winthrop, you may begin your defense proceedings this afternoon. With your permission, Your Honor, I would like to put that off until tomorrow morning. We're still trying to reach one of our primary witnesses who's due to arrive in Seattle today. Granted. Thank you. Court will reconvene at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. All rise. I am really sorry that I didn't get a chance until before to tell you about the whole gun incident. That, down the that's all right, Luna. I think we did just fine. Molly's statement was very strong, and plus with Morgan screaming like a lunatic. The jury saw what kind of a violent outburst can lead a man to rape. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go. We don't need this. Sometimes you just gotta say no. I mean, these blood suckers. I know. I do publicity for a living, Jake. I don't need you to tell me how to handle the press. You're edgy, Lauren. I can understand that. I mean, it can't be easy standing up for women's rights. That's not what I meant. It's. Look, in a word, I, I admire you. Oh, I see. I see. Coming from a confessed rapist. In this situation, I know I can't exactly be the easiest guy to talk to, but can you think of another publisher who understands the issues as well as I do? Oh, and I guess here's the golden opportunity for me to give you an exclusive... I don't want an exclusive, Lauren. That's not sure I can do a better job than anyone else covering the story. Get away from my daughter. Right now. Court is now in session. The Honorable Francis Scott Cohen presiding. Please be seated. Where's the jury? I don't know. Dana. Mr. Winthrop, the jury is absent. As per your request, would you care to enlighten us? Yes, of course, and thank you, Your Honor. On behalf of my client, I would like to request a postponement. Why? Due to circumstances beyond my control. I've been unable to locate or subpoena two witnesses that are key to our defense. How long? 48 hours. Objection, Your Honor. What guarantee do we have that an additional 48 hours will produce Mr. Winthrop's None. witnesses? Mr. Winthrop, motion denied. In which case, uh, Your Honor, I'd respectfully request that instead of sworn testimony, the court admit into evidence this police document. Is it your main? Oh, yes, Your Honor. It goes directly to Ms. Devon's history making false accusations of rape against innocent men. You're lying. Lauder, she never accused anyone. Mr. Winthrop. Mr. Winthrop, what is this police document? It's a notarized copy of a statement made to the Chicago police some ten years ago by Lorna Devon accusing one Carl Hutchins of rape. Objection, Your Honor. The victim's history has no bearing on these proceedings. It is a lie. No, it's not. Is Carl Hutchins raped you? He was stupid. I was young. I was mad at him, and I made the whole thing up. Your Honor, if I may. Yes. At the time, Ms. Devon was a minor, so the actual charge was for statutory rape. These charges were dropped the following day. Exactly. Ms. Devon clearly thought better of pressing false charges. You couldn't possibly know why she pressed those charges, let alone why they were dropped or whether or not they were false. Just as I had no idea why she brought the same charges against my client. What I am sure of is that there is a pattern here. Your Honor, if you'd allow me the leeway... To locate Mr. Hutchins, I'm sure we'd be able to discover why Ms. Devon brought such a serious charge against him, only to drop it. Your Honor, the victim would be more than happy to testify to that the circumstances. That won't be necessary, Ms. Kramer. Motion to admit police document denied. On what ground? It's the law, Mr. Winthrop. As you well know, an alleged rape victim's past cannot be admitted. It has nothing to do with the matter at hand. But, Your Honor, that precedent goes to sexual activity, not patterns of harassment. Call your first witness, Mr. Winthrop. Bailiff, admit the jury. 